Hello friends, I just finished Kendall's blanket. I'll hold it down a little bit because the light's kind of going through it. Okay, and there's Kendall and she knows something's up. Here. Here, baby. There you go. That's Kendall's new blanket. As I've been making it, I've been letting her sniff it, and I'll lay it on the floor and tell her to come lay on it. <laughs> so there's Kendall's there's new blanket. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, excited as can be. What's wrong? Huh? She says, I'm just so nervous. It's my blanket. She absolutely loves blankets. Is it? Uh, <laughs> well, I'll just put it right here and she can end up laying on it and yep. she's in my chair right now she's nervous yeah she says i know something's going on all right say bye-bye she says why are you leaving good morning friends don just came in from getting his paper and i just set my new station which I have to still go through these boxes. This is my current junk journal that I need to get a ribbon to tie around. I've got my paints down here. A couple miscellaneous notebooks, which I will deal with. I'm getting ready to do my, get caught up on my journal. And drinking my first cup of coffee. It is 10 o'clock which I don't know. Let's see, I guess I have to show it that way. Eva has not had her um, egg yet, but she's showing all the signs. Let me show you. She gets in that bottom section of the cage for you, you, for you, those of you that were with me when she laid her uh, six eggs before. That's her corner that she nests in, and she will just tear up newspapers and make, like, not a hole, but just make a little rough area. It's probably so the eggs won't roll, but she's been doing that. See how her tail feathers are up in the air? She doesn't normally sit like that, even when she's walking, um... But she even does that when she's on Don's lap. Uh, I think it's because she's probably a little uncomfortable. So I don't know when she's going to have them, but she's definitely fluffy. And she's having her breakfast. So anyways, uh, that's it. Everything is normal and usual. I'm getting ready. This is my page here I was checking it this morning and then I'm getting ready to watch one of my glue book journals was as I journal so hopefully next time I see you I will look more awake and more with it <laughs> how are you how's your morning I just got done with my shower or I'd show you myself but Eva just laid her egg we've been waiting on so the big I just had got out of the shower and had to show you that we now have a mommy wannabe Eva. Yeah, there's her wannabe baby. She's such a good mommy, but since her eggs are not going to be fertilized, that's why I call them a wannabe baby and a wannabe mommy. She says, okay, you showed my baby off. Now I got to take care of it. She is an excellent mother. So just like a lot of mothers, she's like, going to watch that predator there. I did have a mirror that hung back there, and she was so upset with that mirror today. And I think it was because she knew she was going to lay her egg, 
and she thought there was might be a predator that was just above where she lays her eggs. Last time she had six eggs, we'll see, so we'll see how many she has this time. But she's an excellent mommy, and that's her new baby. Yeah. She's just keeping it under her to protect it, but she's not sitting on it yet. So I'll show you again soon. It is Squirrel Haven again. This is uh, January 6th at 2.40. And let me see if I... They're very sensitive to when you come to the window. A minute ago... Oh. A minute ago there were about six of them out there and I think I only see two right now and as Linda has Linda's husband calls them tree rats but we love squirrels or tree rats whatever you'd want to call them I think they're squirrels there's one over there let's see Oh well, it's not coming in clear, so I'm going to quit for right now. I'm waiting for it to clear up. Come on, clear up. Clear up. Oh well. It's probably because I've got it zoomed. There is Hubby on the treadmill listening to his TV show and I made vegetable soup for lunch and there's a little bit of beans in it yeah I was I belong to a I'm considered a diabetic but I'm not on any medication I was for about six or seven years and there's Kindle girl but um, the doctor took me off the medication because uh, he doesn't believe in it unless you're at a certain number and I've been doing really well it's probably all the vegetables I eat and that is Eva getting agitated because I'm too close to her egg. Right, Eva? But you know I'm not going to hurt your egg. No, I'm not going to hurt your egg. Hi. <laughs> uh, so I just, even though it's 2.40, and some just jumped up into my chair. I've been sitting here crocheting. I had my bowl of soup. I'm getting ready to read this book called The Book of Signs, and I love Dr. David Jeremiah, if you've ever heard of him. And Undeniable Prophecies of the Apocalypse. And yeah, David Jeremiah. I don't have a picture of him on here, I don't believe. He is on the radio. There he is. He is on the radio, and he's a very, very good teacher. Of Turning Point is the name of it. So if you want to Google or YouTube anything with Dr. David Jeremiah, I think you'll find a lot. Been sitting here. This is my food journal, which I'm keeping on every bite that goes in my mouth. And a couple of you, I've gotten messages. I'm going to have to start my jelly plates. I thought I was going to do that today, and I may, but this is for my January 6th. This is for yesterday. And 
so so on and so forth I'm keeping a pretty good record of everything yesterday we went and got Don's Panera bagels which we put them in the freezer and then when he wants my mistake was I went to Taco Bell for Taco Tuesday and I wrote that in my journal I'm not going to be doing that anymore no 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 it's got too much sodium in it and I do not do well to sodium anyways I have been filling up my book I did this one yesterday I don't even remember if I showed you um, what I've been doing is it's just I flip a page as I get a picture or something I had gotten a bunch of these from uh, Norman Rockwell <laughs> I forget what that one's called. I kept all the little names of them, but I thought that was cute. Norman Rockwell did such a good Americana. I think this one this just popped out called the Soda Jerk. Oh, golly. Well, I'm dropping some stuff on the floor. Oh, this one. This one is called... Triumph and defeat. Do you see her? Ah, oh, that's a black eye. Wow. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with my... And of course, there's the principal and whoever, teacher or secretary. Anyways, weren't those the good old days? I never had stuff like that happen to me. Then again, I never fought, so. Oh, just different pictures. And my idea is to post some and then kind of build on them like I started to here. Our care lives, or lives, I guess. Warning, for your safety, do not store or use gasoline or other flammable vapors and liquids in the vicinity of this or any. Yeah, you wouldn't want that around there, so I don't know why I put that one together. And then I had this one. It was just one of those advertisements you get in the mail. Uh, can't see that one very well. I think that's, I don't know what that is. Looks like George Washington or something. I thought that was cute. Looks like the plane's gonna rub his belly. For those of you that do glue books, I've been uh, looking at a lot of your stuff and very impressed. But I like junk journals. They're they just thrill my heart. Thrill my heart. Thought that was cool. Put those apples. Looks like she's reaching up to it, picking all the apples. All right. I'm just shack. I don't really have much to say, but I like to connect, and I think that's the main thing is just the connection. So I'm probably going to go ahead and upload this because I've got the bird and the dog getting her blanket last night that I finished. Yay! Another project down. All right. See you guys later.